Hey guys, welcome back to another prefab commander deck review. Today, we're going to be reviewing Buckle Up. It's a blue and white deck from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. It released in 2022 and retailed for about $35 to $40. It has a heavy vehicle and crew theme and features Kotori, Pilot Prodigy, as its primary commander. The alternate commanders are Shorikai Genesis Engine, which is actually an artifact vehicle legendary, and Katsumasa the Animator as its other alternate. The top five price cards in this deck are Cyber Drive Awakener for 282, Drum Bellower for 378, Emery Lurker of the Lock for 308. Kappa Cannoneer for $399 and Sky Sovereign Console Flagship for $629. The deck is composed of 27 creatures Jace, Architect of Thought for its Planeswalker, 12 Instants and Sorceries, 20 Artifacts, 2 Enchantments, and 37 Lands. Alright, guys, let's get into it. Great art by Magali Villanueva. And the divider. Very nice art on the counter wheel. Take a look at that in a little bit. And back. All right. Great art. We got the commander here, Katori Pilot Prodigy for three. Vehicles you control have crew two. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target artifact creature you control gains lifelink and vigilance until the end of turn. Shorikai Genesis Engine for four. Legendary artifact vehicle. Pay one, tap, draw two cards, then discard a card. Create a 1 1 colorless pilot creature token with this creature cruise vehicles as though its power were two greater. Crew 8. And tap any number of creatures you control with total power 8 or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature till the end of turn. Shori Kai, Genesis Engine, can be your commander for 8. Um, eight. Very nice. Really enjoyed the steampunk, sort of Japanese, uh, techy art vibe that was going on with Kamigawa. Looks like a Gundam. And here's the um, one of the 
top price cards in the deck. Drum Bellower for three, flying, untap all creatures you control during each other player's untap step. I think this was one of the other ones. But, anyways. Cyberdrive Awakener for six, flying, other artifact creatures you control have flying. When Cyberdrive Awakener enters the battlefield until the end of turn, each non-artifact, non-creature artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base, power, and toughness 4-4. Four, four. This was for sure one of the other high price cards. Kappa Cannoneer for six, Improvise. Your artifact can help cast this spell. Each artifact you tap after you're done activating mana abilities pays for one. Ward four. And whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Kappa Cannoneer, and it can't be blocked this turn. The um, other alternate commander, Katsumasa the Animator, for four. Flying, pay two and a blue. Until end of turn, target non-creature artifact you control becomes an artifact creature and gains flying. If it's not a vehicle, it has base power and toughness 1-1 one, one, till the end of turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to three target non-artifact creatures. And um, here's one of the other high price cards, Emery Lurker of the Lock for three. This spell costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. When Emery Lurker of the Lock enters the battlefield, mill four cards. Tap, choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. And here's Jace for four. Until your next turn, whenever a creature an opponent controls attacks, it gets minus one, minus zero until the end of turn. It's minus two is, reveal the top three cards of your library and opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other on the bottom of your library in any order. And finally, the minus eight. For each player, search that player's library for a non-land card and exile it. Then, that player shuffles. You may cast those cards without paying their mana costs. And here's one of the other high price cards, Sky Sovereign Console Flagship for five. Flying, whenever Sky Sovereign Console Flagship enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Crew three, six, five. Land it out for a little bit. Oh, yep, that's it. Got the cardboard commander. And the double sided tokens. It's a nice angel. And there you have it guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video.